Meghan's close friend Misha Nanusha's candid insight inside Las Vegas. The best friends partied at Katy Perry's Las Vegas concert. It was a fun weekend away for best friends Meghan and Misha Nanu. When they partied at Katy Perry's concert in Las Vegas on Saturday night, the BFFs, who were accompanied by their respective husbands Prince Harry and Mike Hess, were all seen in the audience at the play residency, which was held at the famous Resorts World Theatre. Taking to her Instagram stories, the fashion designer shared a snippet from the concert of the crowd dancing to the pop star's hit song, Fireworks. Misha also shared a picture from the previous night where she went to see Adele at the Coliseum at Caesars Palace. In newly released pictures, Prince Harry and Meghan appeared to be in great spirits. As they enjoyed a child-free night with the likes of Cameron Diaz, Benji Madden and Zoe Saldana. The group of friends were seen embarking on a private jet to watch American singer Katie in action. Also at the concert was Katie's partner, actor Orlando Bloom, and their three-year-old daughter Daisy, who wore headphones for her first public appearance. Meanwhile, Meghan's friendship with Misha goes back years. Meeting through a mutual friend in Miami and quickly becoming close. The two friends initially bonded over charity work. We really bonded over that to begin with and we both love dogs, too. We have been very close ever since. Misha once said. I love her to death. She is the coolest girl in the world. It's also believed that a New York-based fashion designer acted as the matchmaker behind Prince Harry and Meghan's relationship. Along with Katie and Orland, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were among the guests to attend Misha's wedding to second husband Mike in 2019. Back in September, in honor of the fourth wedding anniversary, Misha shared an unseen wedding picture. And it was clear that the former Suits actress and her husband Harry were given the honor of front row seats to witness their marriage. The wedding took place at 6 p.m. to coincide with the sunset. At the lavish 17th century Villa Aurelia, which boasts breathtaking views across Rome. Married the man of my dreams four years ago today. Happy anniversary my love at Mickey Hiss, wrote Misha. And her energy entrepreneur husband was among the first to comment, love you so much. Best four years of my life. Meghan and Prince Harry's latest date night had a surprising tie to another member of the royal family. On Saturday, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were spotted at the final show of Katy Perry's play residency in Las Vegas. The couple were seen in the crowd near Kayla and Dine, while Cameron Diaz, Benji Madden and Zoe Soldan also attended. Perry was supported by her fiancé, Orlando Bloom, and their three-year-old daughter, Daisy Dove, in what marked the little one's first public appearance. However, it was not the singer's first time performing before members of the royal family. On the 7th of May, Perry, sang at the coronation concert, held the day after King Charles and Queen Camilla's crowning at Westminster Abbey, which she also attended. The special show was held on the grounds of Windsor Castle, and welcomed 20,000 guests and members of the public to celebrate the historic occasion with an evening of entertainment. The fireworks singer wasn't the only American Idol judge who hit the stage. So did Lionel Richie and both have known Charles for years through charity work. Perry has served as an ambassador of the British Asian Trust, which the King co-founded to tackle poverty. And Transform lives in South Asia, since 2020, while Ritchie was appointed the first global ambassador. And first chairman of the Global Ambassador Group for the Prince's Trust in 2019. Other performers at the Coronation Concert included Andrea Bocelli, Take That, Serbrin Turfel, Freya Ridings and Alexis French. King Charles, Queen Camilla, Prince William, Kate Middleton. Prince George and Princess Charlotte were all in attendance. During the epic show, where BBC cameras caught 80-year-old Charlotte singing along to Perry's anthem Raw, King Charles and Queen Camilla even made a surprise appearance on American Idol with Perry and Ritchie. Prince Harry did not attend the coronation concert, as he travelled back to California after the crowning ceremony on the 6th of May, which was also his son Prince Archie's fourth birthday. The Duke of Sussex was in the UK solo while Meghan stayed back stateside with their children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibut. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex relocated to Meghan's home state. After stepping back from their royal roles in 2020 and ultimately settled in Montecito, the couple are neighbours with Perry and Bloom in the Santa Barbara enclave. 
and Prince Harry previously revealed that he and the Pirates of the Caribbean actor stay in touch about paparazzi sightings. Just two days ago, Orlando Bloom sent me a message. Because he's just down the road and we sort of keep in contact because of the paparazzi. The Duke of Sussex said while appearing on Dex Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast in May 2021. In another Montecito connection, Harry, Meghan, Perry and Bloom were all guests of Ellen DeGeneres' vow renewal to Portia de Rossi. The former host of the Ellen DeGeneres show and her wife also live in Montecito. Where Chris Jenner officiated the surprise home ceremony for what most thought was a 50th birthday party for de Rossi. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.